Hey guys, we got the Pulse Dive 2-in-1 on the bench. So this is the little pinpointer and it also comes with a scuba diving head. But what I'm going to actually talk about is a little depth test and this new 8-inch coil that's just come out. So this thing is really cool. I've been testing it and it's just been released so I can talk about it. I'm going to be doing an air test to see the difference in depth between these two coils on uh, these targets here. All right, stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, we've got the eight inch coil mounted on the pulse dive. We've got it in the box, perfectly vertical. We've got this measurement set out here, which is, this is a rule, so you can see that's legit numbers on there. And then we're gonna test some common Australian items. So we'll start with five cents. Now this is this is the pulse dive at its most conservative because when you bring it into water, because it's a non-motion burst based detector, it actually starts to load the coil up and becomes a lot more sensitive to targets. And I'll demonstrate how that works in a minute. But first we'll just go through basic air tests. Like this is the worst you can expect in just, if you were going in dry sand, this is what it'd be like. But once you go into salt water, and more mineralized grounds, you'll actually start to increase the depth if it's not too mineralized to make it false. So here's five cents. We'll turn it on. <laughs> okay, we're looking at about eight and a half centimeters. You can do nine, you can do nine. And we've got a 10 cent coin. So we're looking at 14 centimeters there. We've got our 20 cents. 17, easy. 17, easy. Our 50 cents. Oh, 18 and a half. Our two dollar coin. Thirteen, and now one dollar coin. Fifteen. Cool. Now this is kind of your most average gold ring. It's four, it's fourteen k, and it's about five point six grams. We don't get much fourteen k gold in Australia, but this is basically your most middle of the line ring. It's in terms of weight and carat. Easily 15, you can get it at 16. 15 and a half, pretty consistent. Now we'll demonstrate what it's like when you're in salt water. When you start to load the coil up, now salt water is conductive and basically starts to load the coil up. So we'll bring it to the point where it's just not falsing or not falsing on water or not detecting the target in this case. So we're detecting it. And now we're not detecting it. That'll do. Now I'll do our 10 cents just for reference. Okay, we're easily getting 19 centimeters on that. So this is what the Pulse Lab is actually doing in salt water. 20 is possible. And we'll just do a 20 cent coin as well. Actually, we'll do the gold as well. Okay, we can technically get 25, but it's not real consistent. So 23 quite easily. 23 centimeters. And our 14K 5.7 gram ring. See, it is picking it up, but it's not consistent, so you might not get it like if you don't I don't know you, you could miss it so 22 centimeters it's quite consistent okay so that's basically what salt water is doing is it's loading the coil up to where it's not quite falsing 
but it is increasing its sensitivity. Depending on how like salt it is, depending on how mineralized the conditions are below of the ground, will depend on how much depth you're gonna get. So we'll go on to the smaller coil now. All right, we've just put the standard coil on. I'll turn it on this time. <laughs> and we'll start with five cents now. It's a little bit corroded, but oh well. So seven centimeters for that target. All right, 10 cents. Eleven centimeters as possible. Yeah, elevens. Elevens all right. Our twenty cents. Thirteen and a half. And fifty. Fourteen and a half. Okay, two dollars. Ten and a half. And now one dollar coin. Twelve. Twelve centimeters. Now the fourteen carat five point seven gram ring. Twelve and a half. And now if you load the coil up a bit, it's look, this is not consistent, so but on a gold ring. This gold ring, you know, 15 and a half centimeters we're looking at. 16 is possible. It depends on how loaded up. Now the thing about loading the coil is the larger coil is actually going to get more loaded up because it has a it's detecting a lot more salt water at once the smaller coil is only detecting a little bit so it doesn't get as loaded up and the larger coil gets a lot more loaded up so it's actually increasing its depth further again while when it gets in salt water all right so in conclusion we're basically getting 30 percent extra depth of this larger coil and in coverage that's something i'm going to have to do another video about and it's going to involve a bit more testing. So I want to find out how, like, what kind of footprint we're actually covering per sweep with a larger coil. But for now, this is just a general air test. It doesn't really mean much in the water, but it, it definitely, it's definitely giving you an idea because these pulse induction in particular, but non-motion based detectors do generally get deeper when you've taken them from, if you've retuned them in air, or turn them on in there and then take them into the water, they start to load up like I was talking about. So yeah, that's, that's the interesting thing about non-motion detectors is they're gonna get deeper um, as they become more loaded up. Unlike other detectors generally um, are getting uh, worse depth, especially in salt water. But yeah, that's the interesting thing about this and the fact that they're pulse induction, but sum it up, 30% extra depth of this larger coil. Coverage has gotta be possibly double I'm not sure we'll have to figure that out but a really great upgrade this doesn't really cover everything there is to do with the coils because there's a lot of benefits to each and uh, uh, pros and cons to each really there's coverage versus you can get into cracks if there's low visibility like if I can't see my hands this little coil is perfect because I'm just kind of like grab around the coil and I've got the thing but this is kind of bigger and it's like it's harder to pinpoint with and there's lots of different like pros and cons to each one. I wouldn't like say one supersedes the other in any way, but the, yeah, that's that's basically the summary of my finds. Um, hope it wasn't too dry for you, and um, thank you for watching. Cheers.